There are many reasons why people go into debt. Lack of planning, low income, overspending, unexpected inflations, high cost of living standards, to name a few. There are steps we can take to avoid consumer debt in one's life. Hi, salam everyone. My name is Shamin Sood. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you are returning, thank you. And if you are new, feel at home. Here we talk about simple living and personal finance. Today in this video, we are sharing means and ways on how to live below your means to avoid going into debt. Don't compare your life with others. That is the first step to avoid debt. We are lucky to be connected as a world we can communicate, we can see what other people are doing in other countries without even being there or seeing them. Scrolling through social media, seeing the life of other people, making you wanting and wishing can be emotionally and financially draining. Understand that your life is your own. Make it better and do not harm yourself financially by going into debt because other people's lives impress you more than your own. Number two, is to live below your means. Know your income and expenses. Have a spending plan. That is, make a budget that works for you. This will help you manage your money and be on top of your finances. Don't let money manage you. Know what is coming in your pocket, what is going out. Understand and prioritize necessities over wants. Whatever is left over, try to start creating your emergency fund. Number three, is to create an emergency fund for a rainy day. Once you know your expenses in a month, you can start keeping little money aside every each month, summing up to three to six months of living expenses. When that rainy day comes, you'll be ready for it. When that roof starts leaking, you can just fix it. When you have a medical emergency that insurance does not cover, you can just take care of it. When you lose your job, you can take care of yourself for some time before you find another. And that is why it is very important to have an emergency fund. Also, you need to plan on your large purchases. If you want to buy a house, a car for example, that you want to upgrade, take time and save for it. Instead of going to the bank and take a loan to buy a car, why don't you save for some time? Then later, you can sell the one you have and upgrade by taking the money from the sales and the money that you saved and buy your dream car. It may take a while for you to get what you want, but it will save you from paying loan interest for no reason. Learn the power of the word no and say no often. Say no to friends, say no to family, say no to situations, events, social gatherings that cost you money. Don't commit yourself financially if you cannot afford it. But above all this, you need to say no to yourself. Ask yourself questions before you purchase a new item. Do you really need that thing at that particular moment? Can you save up for it? Can you wait? Can you do without it? Ask yourself all these questions. If your answer is still to get it, then save up for it and buy it. Borrowing should not be an option for you. These limitations are not there to bind you forever, just until your finances are settled and you're no longer running in debt. Lastly, is to simplify your life. Live simply, be grateful and contented with what you have. You will be okay. Being in debt has become a normal thing these days. It's okay for everyone to be in debt, but you can choose to be different. Choose to live within your means. Choose to live below your means. You don't have to do what everyone else is doing. It's your life. Take control of yourself. Take control of your money. Be different. Choose a simpler life. Choose a life with no stress financially. Choose peace of mind. The limitations today will give you freedom tomorrow. All right, my beautiful people. That's all I have for this video. I hope these tips help you avoid debt and lead you to financial peace kindly subscribe if you haven't done so already and like this video so that we can help youtube push it to other people 
and drop a comment down below and tell me how you avoid debt in your life and i'll see you in the next one bye